Hello, everyone, and welcome to our National Apprenticeship Week event. I am Delaney Ray and have worked at Melton Track Lines for six years, serving in a variety of human resources roles, and I currently serve as, the Mel as Melton's Driver Services Manager. In addition, I serve as chair-elect on the Workforce Tulsa Board. I serve on the Finance Degree Advisory Board at my alma mater, Northeastern State University, and I am a member of Mosaic, an equity, diversity, and inclusion group through the Tulsa Chamber. Engaging and developing our workforce is my passion, and fortunately for me, it's also my job. My hope is that everyone is able to pursue a career they are as passionate about as I am about mine. So talking about National Apprenticeship Week and what a National Apprenticeship is. So the Department of Labor describes National Apprenticeship Week as a nationwide celebration that brings together business leaders, career seekers, labor, educational institutions, and other critical partners to demonstrate their support for apprenticeship. Apprenticeship is an industry-driven, high-quality career pathway where employers can develop and prepare their future workforce and individuals can obtain paid work experience, classroom instruction, and a portable nationally recognized credential. The Department of Labor's support of apprenticeships in recent years has expanded the opportunity for people to overcome the traditional barriers of starting new careers, such as financing education and gaining the hands-on experience they need to be successful. In honor of National Apprenticeship Week, Workforce Tulsa, Tulsa Tech, and Melton Truck Lines are partnering for this webinar to highlight the diesel mechanic and Class A truck driving schooling and career paths. We're also going to discuss the financial support available so you can pursue these careers. So getting us started, I did want to share, if I'm able to, what it's going to look like for you to be able to chat in. So during this webinar, we're actually going to have you chat in your questions while each speaker is speaking. So we'll circle back to answer all your questions at the end. If you're connecting from your mobile phone, the chat's going to appear in the top right hand corner. So moving forward to talk uh, to introduce our first speaker. So now I'm going to start our program with Wes Mitchell. He's our director of business services at Workforce Tulsa. Wes is responsible for developing workforce strategies for assisting employers and coordinating business services across Creek, Osage, Pawnee, and Tulsa County partners, as well as local economic development agencies. He also develops relationships with businesses, other agencies, and local civic and economic development groups to introduce and engage businesses to workforce programs. Wes was a graduate of Howard University with a Bachelor of Business Administration in Marketing, where he lettered in football. He lives in Owasso, Oklahoma with his wife, Yolanda. They are proud parents of two Eagle Scout sons, Wesley Jr. and Jordan Alexander. Wes enjoys spending time with his family, fishing, golfing, and making a difference in the community. He is a member of Sigma Pi Phi Professional Fraternity. Wes's executive board memberships include the Owasso Education Foundation, where he served as past chair, Junior Achievement of Oklahoma, Tulsa Regional Chamber of Commerce, where he was past, past Vice Chair Education and Workforce for 10 years, University of Tulsa School of Business Advisory Council, and Bishop's Committee of Episcopal Church of the Holy Cross, where he served as Senior Warden. Wes was nominated by the Governor Mary Fallon and confirmed by the Senate to serve on the Board of Regents for Tulsa Community College as Chairman and appointed to Governor Kevin Stitt's Minority Business Council. Wes also serves as Board Chairman for Teach for America of Greater Tulsa. In addition, he is a Wood Badge Trained Assistant Scout Master and member of the Executive Board of the Indian Nations Council of the Boy Scouts of America. With all his oppressive accomplishments, you'd think he might be a little intimidating, but I can vouch for quite the contrary. My conversations with Wes have taught me that he is always more focused on how he can help the person he's talking to, and that's what he's here to do for you today. So thank you for introducing the funding opportunities through Workforce Tulsa for our attendees, Wes. Thank you, Delaney. Um, what a great introduction. I'm honored to be here for Momentification of Apprenticeship Week. Apprenticeship for us at Workforce Tulsa is the epitome of our work-based learning program. So what I'm going to talk about a little bit about is the funding and how Workforce Tulsa can help you through the process and help you with funding. When I think about apprenticeship, as again, ending up with an apprenticeship that leads to a job at a great company like Melton 
is the top of the mountain. But to get to that top of the mountain, there are very, a number of steps that Workforce Tulsa can help you through with funding. First step I call learning about work, where we pay for people to be trained in resume writing, interviewing skills, um, and, and some career exploration. Because if you go into an internship, one of the first things you're gonna do is be a part of a competitive process um, because these are truly coveted jobs in a coveted industry with a coveted company. The next part, and we actually have the ability to pay your salary while you do this training. Next, I'll call learning through work. And learning through work is what we call our work experience program where we're able to pay salaries for students like you all to go into a business and learn a little bit about the business before you actually jump full force. Some of you I know know exactly what you wanna be when you grow up right now, but a lot of you don't. So career exploration and work experience opportunities, paid work experience opportunities, are a good way to find out if this is a good match for you and you're a good match for the company. Um, lastly, learning at work, which is the uh, what we're here to talk about today, which is apprenticeships. Um, we actually also have funding made available for you so that we can provide supportive services. Uh, and supportive services are if you need boots or you need equipment, you need tools, all the things that you need to get into the apprenticeship and work, we can help provide those tools for you. Um, with those supportive services come wraparound services where we provide you mentoring and counseling throughout the entire process. Workforce Tulsa is committed to making you successful in the economy. So thank you, Delaney. Thank you, Wes. Workforce Tulsa creates so many pathways for development and is the bridge between our workforce, our educational institutions, and our customers. Thank you for all that you do. Next, I'd like to introduce our first Tulsa Tech speaker, Danny Russell. Danny is the instructor for the medium and heavy duty truck repair technician program at Tulsa Technology Center. The 2020-2021 the school year marks his 17th year of teaching at TTC with previous experience of 21 years in the diesel and truck technology field. In addition, he is an ASE Master Certified Technician and has been for almost 20 years. Danny is passionate about this industry and always training to stay up with the rapidly changing technology. He believes that training is the key to being a good technician first and foremost. When not at work, his priority is spending time with family and actively pursuing his hobbies of deer and turkey hunting and mostly fishing. In my experience with Danny, he puts you at ease right away and he's the kind of person who speaks with you as if you're old friends. Danny is incredibly invested in his students' success and not only educates them, but connects with employers to get his students into really good careers right away. Thank you for being with us, Danny. Thank you, I appreciate it. I hope you can hear me okay. Uh, I just wanna touch a little bit on, on what we do here at Tulsa Tech as far as our program goes. Uh, we are a ASC accredited program uh, which means that uh, that I have to do to do special training every year uh, to keep my ASC uh, certifications up and also to keep my program at a higher level. Uh, any ASC program that certified program through ASC is, is a little higher level program because we are um, we are held to a higher standard and have to do a, a little bit different different things as in um, our equipment our tools, uh, the type of curriculum we teach, the amount of curriculum we teach. Of course, we um, are held to, uh, in fact, the, uh, the Oklahoma Department of Career Tech uh, Education, the State Department has adopted all of the ASC standards uh, for our tasks and our standards. So we have to meet all of those ASC standards that we are pretty much used to meeting all, all the time. So. Uh, since we are a, um, a master certified program, as far as ASC goes, uh, our program is 1,050 hours. Uh, that's going to be two years if you go a half day at three hours a, a, a day, or uh, it, you could get through in 10 months if you went all day. We do have that option, 
uh, it's a little bit difficult uh, on those that do do go all day because they're they're studying uh, double the curriculum. They're they're doing all the curriculum in one year, uh, so that that makes a little bit of a difference uh, in how we do things. Or as we we have high school students that go uh, a, an entire two years at three hours a day. Uh, we study um, every portion of what the uh, ASC master certification uh, would study. We study uh, one year we will go through uh, brakes, steering and suspension. Um, let me think here, brakes, steering, suspension, engines and drivetrains. Uh, the next year uh, we will go through um, preventive maintenance, uh, a, um, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and electrical and electronics. Uh, we're very active in our uh, Career Tech Student Organization, which is Skills USA. Uh, we are also very active with the industry and our industry partners. We, uh, as as Delaney said, we are uh, very active and very. Um, um, Glad to have the support of, of the industry partners such as Melton and uh, we do quite a bit with with those those industry partners um, as well as all of our industry has a lot of different uh, curriculum uh, that we go through. So so just because we're sitting here doing our curriculum that's set in front of us during the state, we also have a curriculum set out through Cummins. Uh, Daimler, uh, Get Ahead Program, Caterpillar, uh, and a lot of those people, Navistar, a lot of those people that are, are uh, out there in the industry, as well as a, a lot of the aftermarket and, and uh, uh, different places that, that uh, have um, additional stuff such as um, fan hubs, transmissions, differentials, brakes, uh, all of those things we have uh, we have uh, in our in our grasp where we can uh, we can get you some experience and training in in that kind of stuff. So we're pretty well rounded, and we try to uh, keep the students pretty well rounded in in what's out there in the industry, uh, so that that when the when you go out to the industry, you're just a little bit more than basic. Uh, we we do have a lot of basic skills, like right now we're doing a lot of brakes, a lot of wheel ends, a lot of of uh, uh, so steering and suspension, a lot of preventive maintenance and, and inspections and things. So uh, my goal is to hopefully get a lot of that stuff so that uh, the students have a chance to be able to go out even at uh, after their their first semester and possibly land an apprenticeship or a job or something like that. And we also have what we call work based learning uh, where we can we can uh, uh, put those students out uh, and help them uh, do some work in apprenticeships and things like that, along with uh, keeping them here in school and keeping them trained. So hopefully that gives a little bit of information about what we do here as, at our program. Sorry about that. I was having a little technical difficulty with my <laughs> microphone there. Uh, thank you, Danny, so much for talking about the mechanic program. So we are really familiar with the mechanic uh, diesel mechanic program at Tulsa Tech. We do hire out of that program at Mountain Truck Lines regularly. Danny is a close partner of ours. And so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the mechanic apprenticeship at Mountain Truck Lines and what that looks like. So the goal is for you to understand the funding, the schooling, and then what this looks like in real world, getting into the job and getting the experience you need to start this career. So that's where Melton comes in. We have a nationally approved mechanic apprenticeship. Uh, more commonly, we'll call it an internship. That's what people are more familiar with over the word apprenticeship, but it's basically the same thing. So our mechanic internship includes all the same training uh, that you would need to be successful in a permanent role. So our service technicians, mechanics, they're really doing the same work as our interns, but our internship program partners you with our more experienced technicians to get you that hands-on experience. So you're truly learning the program that you will be performing whenever you move into a permanent role with us. 
So what's interesting about our diesel mechanics at Melton Truck Line specifically is we keep all of our trucks under warranty. So at Melton Truck Lines, whenever our we order them brand new from the manufacturer, the trucks, and then we will trade them in while they're still under warranty or sell them and purchase brand new trucks. So because of that, whenever there's a significant breakdown in the truck, such as engine work that's needed or transmission work that's needed, our technicians aren't performing that work directly. We're returning the truck to the manufacturer to perform that work. So in our internship, what you are learning is uh, more related to preventative maintenance. So you're doing preventative maintenance on both trucks and trailers. You're working on brakes, oil changes. You're doing troubleshooting, not quite at the level that our senior technicians would be doing. The troubleshooting is where really that hands-on experience over time comes into play because they're a little faster at figuring out what's going on, especially electrical troubleshooting in the trucks. I mean, they have so many cool equipment and systems tacked onto them now that gets more and more complicated. And so that troubleshooting really comes into play um, as you're training in this internship. You're also working on wheel seals, um, electrical work, HVAC work, part swapping, uh, performing inspections. That's incredibly important in the transportation industry as well. We always need to be Department of Transportation compliant, meaning that our, our trucks and our trailers have to be up to DOT or Department of Transportation standards in order for us to be legal. And so our, our maintenance crew is a huge part of keeping us safe on the road, keeping us compliant, and that's actively the work that our interns are doing as well. As far as hours and what that looks like, we're pretty flexible around your schedules. So whenever we find the right person, we will work with Danny um, and work with you regarding what your school schedule looks like and see if we can schedule you after school. A lot of times people will go to school in the morning at the Tulsa Tech program and then come in for the evenings. We are open on the weekends in the shop, but it's less likely that we would put an intern on the weekends because it's a smaller staff. And our goal is for you to be getting a really robust training experience while you're working. And so we want you with more of our senior technicians during the week. Um, so what do we look for in a candidate? How do you get this opportunity? So we have limited internship opportunities because it is so much hands-on training and we want to make sure you have the support you need to be successful. So it's pretty competitive to get into our mechanic apprenticeship. Now I will tell you that diesel mechanic is an in-demand occupation. So there's a lot of opportunities beyond Melton. Of course, I would want all of you guys to come work here, um, but it's a great career opportunity regardless of whether you come to Melton or not. So if you're really sold on Melton and want to come work here, we just basically look for someone who is hardworking and honestly hardworking in your class. Like I said, we have a good relationship with Danny, so we're talking to him about his students. That's where it starts really heads down, making sure that you're studying the right things and showing a positive attitude in the class. That's what we're looking for whenever you come work for us in person as well. And of course, a willingness to, to learn. You know, we don't expect you to know everything. That's the whole point of an apprenticeship and an internship. We expect that you're coming with some basics from going to school at Tulsa Tech or whatever mechanic program you've decided to attend. Usually uh, we're hiring people in their second year of school. So they've been attending for a little while to get those basics. And then we start building on those with our senior technicians who have been doing it for a long time. And excuse me, I use the word technician and mechanic kind of interchangeably. So internally we, we call our mechanics service technicians, but those are our diesel mechanics. So if you're wondering what it looks like, okay, I come and do this internship and, and then what? You know, we do hire on probably about 85% of our interns permanently. But even if you decide that you want to pursue something else, you've still gotten that hands-on experience that's going to start you at a higher wage after you get out of school because you've shown that you've been able to put real-world application to it and you've been earning some money in school, which is always a great benefit for everybody. So we typically start our interns at $14 an hour. Um, and then after internship, if we look at hiring on permanently, once again, you've been doing the real work. So it goes up to about a $17 per hour starting rate, depending on how long you've been working for us, how much you've learned and what kind of performance and attitude that you've been showing while you've been in our internship program. So I am going to go ahead and kick it back to Tulsa Tech.
we are going to switch over to hearing from my friend Donnie Tolk. Uh, once again, as you guys have any questions, you feel free to circle back to us. Um, actually, I did have one question. Wes, I'm going to pop you up real quick first because one of the things I forgot to mention about our diesel mechanics is that you do bring your own tools and that's pretty common uh, in the industry that you're going to bring your own tool set. Now you have your own workspace, you'll set up in your bay. It's kind of your own little home area, but as an intern, you're not going to have a full tool set yet, and we know that. So we put together some uh, basic tools that you can get started with. Now tools are really personal to technicians, so you're not going to be coming in and asking people to borrow their tools. Those are things that they paid for and that are real personal to them. Uh, but once again, we have those starter basic loaner tools for you to be using while you build your set. So with that in mind, I actually even posted a question so I wouldn't forget to ask it. So Wes, I'm going to pop you in live real quick if you can unmute yourself. And I wanted to ask, would Workforce Tulsa help someone getting started in the mechanic program um, with acquiring the tools they need to get started? Is that something that's available from you guys? Yes, that's definitely available to people enrolled in our program. We're here to help, and that's a part of our supportive services where if you need something, we will help you get it, as well as pay for, help pay for the Tulsa Tech courses with our partner Tulsa Tech. So yes, we will pay for tools. Okay, thank you. So me, yes, sir. I might add that that our program, as long as they are in our program and, and workforce does a, a great job of helping with tools, uh, we have other avenues. Also, we have a Tulsa Tech Foundation that uh, they can they can apply for a grant or a, a scholarship through the Tulsa Tech Foundation. Uh, also, while they are here, uh, they get to buy uh, name brand quality tools from Snap-on and Matco at a, a very discounted price, generally somewhere around half price, 50% uh, off of what they would buy uh, on the truck at your place, for instance. So that's a, that's a very good, uh, very good end for their tools. Thank you for that. Awesome. Okay. So next I am going to introduce you guys to Donnie Tolk. So in addition to diesel mechanics, the trucking industry is always looking for truck drivers. Donnie Tolk is here from Tulsa Tech today to tell you about the truck driving program at Tulsa Tech. Having grown up in a trucking family, Donnie officially started his career in the trucking industry 38 years ago. Donnie has been employed as a driver, fleet manager, safety director, director of operations, and as of March of 2016, has been the program coordinator of Tulsa Tech's Professional Truck Driver Training Program. Donnie is active in the Oklahoma Safety and Security Council as a past chairman and has sat on the board of directors of the Oklahoma Trucking Association. He is an effective leader and is well versed in transportation operations, FMCSA regulations, which if you don't know what FMCSA is, you will learn that very quickly getting into the transportation industry. And he also is well versed in DOT compliance issues. Donnie believes the culture of an organization starts at the top and must be safety driven. At Melton Truck Lines, we've had the pleasure of working closely with Donnie for years and share an enthusiasm for trucking, the industry that keeps all our other industries moving. So without further ado, thank you, Donnie, for sharing your knowledge with us today. Thank you, Delaney, and thank you for having me on. I want to talk a little bit about our truck driver training program here that started back in 2016. I was very fortunate to be able to come on board here at Tulsa Tech and work with great folks like Danny Russell, and he was a lot of help to me uh, putting this program together. We put a program together that we feel is the premier truck driver training program in the state of Oklahoma. It's a little bit longer than other programs, our program is a total of 600 hours, which is basically, if you look at it in months, month-wise, that's five, five months. Um, and what we've done with our program, though, is we have developed it to be a 360-hour program with an internship component, or as we call it, a work-based experience component, or again, an apprenticeship. And once you get to that 360 hours, you can then go on to uh, Mountain Truck Lines or any one of our industry partners that we partner with and finish your training out there. 
that's all on the job training um, to meet that 600 hour mark. Now, like Danny was saying, his program's ASC uh, certified. Ours is PTDI certified, which is Professional Truck Driver Institute. There's only 67 schools last count that I know of across the country that are PTDI certified. And what that means is the PTDI is kind of the gold standard. We, we're held to higher standards um, where other schools may not uh, pull loaded trailers and give the students loaded miles behind the wheel and nighttime driving, we do. So they kind of hold us to higher standards as far as how many hours students get behind the wheel. Um, going in a little more in depth in our program, that 360 hours, say, what are you going to get? Well, the first two to three weeks, we're going to be in the classroom and we're going to be uh, going over federal regulations. We're going to be studying the commercial learner's permit, what it's going to take to obtain that. We're going to give you the knowledge to obtain that and take those tests to be successful in getting that permit because you have to get it first before you can you don't want to get behind the wheel and train behind the wheel. Just like when you're, you know, 15 and a half, you have to get that permit before you can get your, that driver's license at 16. So then after that, we get through that, uh, the next seven, eight weeks is going to be behind the wheel. We're going to go through all the aspects of the vehicle inspection. Um, Mr. Russell's class helps us out a lot on that. Uh, we're going to go through preventive maintenance. We're going to go through the backing maneuvers. We're going to go through shifting the truck, on the road driving. Uh, a lot of things you need to know as well as, as, well as load securement. Um, things uh, that will definitely benefit you being a professional driver out there on the road and getting you prepared for your next career. Um, like I said, we do loaded drives with loaded uh, trailers and we do nighttime driving. Uh, to give the students a better feel of what it is to drive at night. We do utilize a simulator. We have a full motion based simulator that we utilize uh, where students can get kind of a feel of driving on snow and ice. We're not going to take them out and put them on snow and ice out here in the trucks being brand new drivers, but we are going to utilize that for the uh, simulator for that. We're also going to put them in uh, situations, uh, safety awareness situations. Uh, animals running out in front of them across the road. Um, also, uh, teach just basically teaching students how to shift gears, um, how to safely handle a vehicle if you have a cast drive tire failure, for instance, on that. So we go in depth in a lot of different things in our program. Uh, we have a full working air brake simulator that we go over. Uh, all the air brake system to teach the, the students what to look for in case they have a catastrophic failure in the air brakes is pretty important to be able to stop a rig that weighs 100 or weighs 80,000 pounds, starting to say 100,000 pounds, 80,000 pounds. We've got, we've got a great relationship with Melton. Uh, a lot of our students go over to Melton uh, once they complete the program and start into the uh, internship with them. It's been a great, great uh, relationship uh, with the folks over at Melton. I, I work with Leslie Vincent uh, all the time, seems like almost on a daily basis. Leslie is our uh, chairman of our, our chairperson of our advisory council. And uh, we just love working with the folks at Melton too. We uh, want to just say thanks to Wes and the folks at Workforce. We have students who get funded through Workforce. Um, and also our program with the length of it is also Pell Grant eligible. So you could possibly get a Pell Grant to uh, pay, pay for funding of the program as far as that goes. So, uh, you know, we just look forward uh, to seeing everybody you know, get in the program and being able to continue to move goods across America because without trucks, America stops. And without those truck drivers to move those trucks, America stops. But without those technicians, to keep those trucks running, America stops. So that's uh, that's basically what I have today, and and be glad to answer any questions.
Thank you, Donnie. I really appreciate that last plug as well. There's a reason that he and I and everyone on this call is so passionate about the trucking industry. We couldn't have the America that we have today without our truck drivers and the people keeping them moving. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what Donnie had kind of introduced uh, from his side as well. We do have an over the road nationally certified truck driving apprenticeship as well. So I wanted to talk to you guys about what that apprenticeship entails and see if the job might be right for you. So first of all, we do require that class A driver's license before you can come on board into our apprenticeship. So Donnie's school and team or, or a class A truck driving school that's appropriate for you is absolutely key before you could get into this apprenticeship. You'll learn so much about DOT regulations and really get that foundation uh, to set you up for success uh, whenever you start this new career. So at Melton Truck Lines, our truck driving job is over the road and flatbed. So over the road means that you would be out for either two or three weeks at a time, depending on where you live. And for each week that you're out, you get a 24 hour time frame at home. So I specify it that specifically because some uh, over the road companies that say they'll get you home weekends or get you home, um, you know, a day every week, that might look a little differently depending on how their loads shake out. We specify a full 24 hour period of home time earned for every week that you're out. So it is a tough job. It's a lot of being away from the house, but it's an opportunity to really travel the country. So we cover all the lower 48 continental states. And if you get your passport, you'll get to go into Canada as well. Often whenever I'm teaching our road trainer class, so our people that take out our, our newbies who are learning the ropes, I'll ask them, have you been to all 48 continental states? Or if not, which ones have you missed? And most of the time in that class, every single person raises their hand and says they've been to every single 48 continental state. If they haven't, there's one or two or three that they know specifically they haven't been to and it's on their list. So whenever you think about a job where you really get to get out and see the country, I mean, I know I've been to maybe 15 states, which is more than a lot of other people that I talk to. So this is a really cool opportunity to see America and see what's available to you. So also because of that, we can hire drivers all over the United States and they take their, their truck and trailer home. And that opens up a lot of opportunity. I know this webinar has been a little more focused on Tulsa and Tulsa opportunities, but we can really hire from anywhere. The flatbed portion of our job requires more manual labor. So one of the nice things about that is people will worry about getting into truck driving and you know getting out of shape and what that looks like to be sitting behind a wheel so much. And you still have to pay attention to your health and wellness, which Melton absolutely supports and provides a lot of tools for. But with the flatbed side, you're actually securing the freight to a flat trailer. So you have straps and chains and you're doing everything to make sure that load stays on and doesn't have any forward, backward, up, down, side to side movement. The goal is that it is fixed to that trailer safely. And so that takes a lot of work. You know, it'll take a couple hours to secure a load, sometimes longer. We haul all different kinds of freight. So we have hauled big pieces of art um, that were made out of ocean pieces, you know, so statement pieces. We've hauled the Super Bowl stage multiple years. Um, you know, we haul big construction equipment, lumber, all kinds of things. You know, we'll talk to our ambassador drivers who are drivers that have at least a million miles with us. So a million miles is, it takes about 10 years to get that. So these are very senior experienced drivers. And whenever I ask them about if they're still learning things, they are still learning things. They're still hauling different things that they haven't seen before. So as far as flatbed, Melton to me is just cream of the crop. You're going to see all different kinds of loads and see all of the country. And if you really want the flatbed over the road experience, you would get it here for sure. So now I've told you about all that work. So it's like, okay, maybe I like to travel, but that's a lot of work. Is it worth it? And so I want to talk to you a little bit about our pay. So our average driver last year made over $60,000. So that's starting out. You know, that includes all of the people that were hiring straight out of CDL school, like you possibly could be. And they're still figuring out how to secure things and maybe not being as efficient. And they're still taking their time trip planning. So that's the average, including all of those people. Our top driver made over six figures. They made over $100,000 last year. 
Now we have a lot of incentives. There's a, a pay package that climbs over time. Um, and then we also have profit sharing available as people hit certain landmarks in their careers at Melton Truck Lines. So, you know, they have some other add-ons to their pay that people don't start out with, but you're looking at making between, you know, 60 and $100,000 a year over the course of your career. So it's, it's really good money and you don't have to have a home. So maybe you're just getting started or you're in some kind of transition. A lot of our truck drivers live out of their trucks. And that's completely fine. There's a there's a bed in the back. It's home to them. And then they can just take their home time in different places. Now with some limitations, it depends on some freight and how our freight moves, but they'll get to take their time off and really see different parts of the country. So it's a fabulous opportunity with lots of upward mobility and pay opportunity. Sometimes people will come and this is their career. They love it and it's a fit for them forever. But other times people will come and this is an opportunity for them to have a new experience and that's fine too. You know, we're not looking for people to make a commitment for life, but it's a really great place to do that if that's what you wanna do and you love this job or it's a great place to have a completely new experience and make good money and build yourself a nest egg to get your life started. As far as what the actual apprenticeship entails, it's a two year apprenticeship. That's because it really takes about two years for you to have your arms around what this job takes to do. So you have a lot of support though in the meantime that is not meant to scare you off. Uh, you start out in orientation, which will move to a two week orientation starting in January next year. And then we will also uh, put you out one on one with a trainer. All of our trainers have been with us at least one year in order to be able to train and then they're individually uh, trained and certified before they'll take trainees out on their truck. So it's it's our top tier drivers. You'll go one on one with them, living in their truck with them, doing the work and seeing hands on what it would look like for you to, to be driving solo because that's ultimately what you'll be doing. After you get off the trainer truck, which is about three to four weeks, that's when you're going to get into your own truck solo. But the training does not stop there. We have a fabulous media team that's creating new training uh, in combination with safety and operations in all our departments. And so you're getting monthly training on going from there. For your first six months at Melton, you're actually getting individual phone calls um, with hands-on training with one of our safety professionals every month. And we're always adding to that. So we're making this apprenticeship more and more robust over time. Ideally, you come and this is the right fit and this is where you want to stay. But if you come here and complete the two years, you'll get your uh, certified, your certification from the Department of Labor and you'll be able to take that anywhere. And maybe you decide after that you want to do local or regional or something that's a, a fit that'll get you home more often because your life circumstances have changed. You still have that in your pocket and something to put towards your career going forward. So with that in mind, I think that was really our last topic as far as training and apprenticeship, but I would like to introduce you to Jeff Har. So Jeff is our last speaker of today and Jeff is our military field recruiter. So in addition to recruiting, Jeff manages Melton's Veterans Affairs and Department of Labor approved truck driving apprenticeship program and we are so lucky to have him on our team. Jeff retired from the Army in January of this year after 22 years of service. He started his career in the Marine Corps and served for six years as an infantryman. After the Marines, Jeff enlisted in the Army where he spent the remainder of his military career. In the Army, he was an infantryman for some time and then moved into Army logistics. Jeff is working very hard to help Melton Truck Lines bring in quality talent from the transitioning service members and the veteran community. He also participates in several veteran community outreach organizations, including the Oklahoma Veteran Alliance, and facilitates the provision of updated resources to veterans through Melton's public veteran resource group on Facebook, which I encourage all of you to follow. It is public and available to both veterans, families, or people that just support the military community and want to provide resources to them. I have been fortunate to get to know Jeff over the last year and see the vigor and excitement he has for helping veterans and transitioning military members. Jeff is the kind of guy that if he is going to do anything, he wants to be the best and he is determined to make our programs for veterans the best in the industry. So Jeff's going to talk to you a little bit about how you can use your GI Bill benefits if you're a veteran while pursuing Melton's over the road truck driving apprenticeship. So thank you for your heart for our military, Jeff, and for your time speaking today. Thank you, Delaney. 
So today I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about the VA apprenticeship program, which ties in nicely to all of our subjects. So a veteran that transitions out of the service or has been out of the service for a while, and they choose to enter into a school like Tulsa Tech as a truck driver, a mechanic, and other trade skills, the VA has said that once they've completed those schools and then they enter into a company like Melton that has an apprenticeship and a training program that has been certified by the Veterans Administration, they can then use their GI Bill to draw the MHA or housing stipend for the amount of time the apprenticeship is. So for example, Melton's is 24 months, so a fully qualified veteran could then draw each month that housing stipend. Our housing stipend, for example, is $1,400 a month um, each month for the entirety, but it does tear down as the veteran gets more experienced in the apprenticeship as their wages rise. Every six months, the VA tears it down by 20%. So by the end of the apprenticeship, it's at about a 40% draw at Ferrars, which is 24 months, and then they'll end it. But the goal is they'll have their certification or journeyman status. And then at that point with the raises, skill sets and things, the goal of the program is it will have, they will be making the same or more money than they did with a stipend. Um, and it's just a great way for veterans that don't want to go through the traditional four-year college route. They're not big school guys. They're more the hands-on folks like our mechanics and our flatbed drivers and other skills like that to learn while they earn and use that money to better their lives until they get experience and then they can make the bigger money and uh, not miss a dime on their earnings. And in summary, that's just, it's just a great, wonderful program that the VA has done. And that concludes what I have. Thank you, Jeff, so much for talking about that. I know it's a huge benefit to those who have served in the military and maybe aren't sure how they want to use their GI Bill. They don't really want to go to a four-year school or some such, and it's an opportunity to access those funds while still making the money you'd be making at Melton anyways. It's just on top of that. So appreciate that presentation. So I actually wanted to ask each of our speakers a question. Uh, the same question that I'm going to pose to each of you, and we'll go in order of how uh, each of us presented throughout this webinar. So what would you recommend as the first step in getting connected to your organization? So for somebody who's interested in getting connected with your organization, what would be the first step for them to do that? So Wes, let's start with you, friend. So it's fairly easy. WorkforceTulsa.com, find a job is how you enroll in our program. So just go out to the website, Click find a job and enroll in our program, and that will get you started. The career navigator who will help you all along the way. Perfect. Thank you so much. I'm going to move to Danny Russell. Danny, for somebody that's interested in your mechanic program, what would be their first step in getting connected and, and getting enrolled? Well, and they need to go to uh, tulsatech.edu. Uh, that's our website that they can go to and look at the different programs, uh, look at my program. They can get uh, all of the information from the program. They can also do an enrollment there. Uh, there's different things that they have to do when they do an enrollment, so that'll give them all the information on how to enroll, uh, what to go through, and, and uh, how to get, get connected uh, with us, and, and it'll give them the steps once they get to the academic center, or I mean the uh, enrollment center, um, get connected with the enrollment center, then they'll they will be uh, guided through it. You might say, but TulsaTech.edu is uh, exactly where they need to go. Perfect, Donnie. Is there anything you would add to that for the truck driving school specifically? No, Danny and I share the same website. <laughs> okay, perfect. So yeah, it's just TulsaTech.edu. Uh, you can go through them. I would just say scroll down and go to the full-time programs and you would find, uh, and both of ours will be in the transportation and logistics sector. So both of them will be in the same sector and pretty easy to find. Do they have the opportunity to shadow a class or to view anything ahead of time? Yes, they do. Uh, definitely Danny's classes, his program's a lot easier uh, to do the job shadowing than ours, say, for instance. 
our local some of the local companies that hire our students will allow job shadowing, but it's it's kind of hard for us to send a student to job shadow at Melton due to the fact that you you know your drivers are gone for two or three weeks at a time. But Danny can speak on that uh, better. Okay, perfect. Um, so as far as getting connected to Melton Truck Lines, as I mentioned before, school is really the first step there. So Wes can help out with funding. Donnie and Danny just gave you some instruction on how to get connected to their schools, but I'm also going to follow up with some videos. Whenever we post the uh, video of this webinar, we're also going to connect you to a video of the truck tour in case you want to see what one of our trucks looks like. That'll introduce you to at least what you'd be living in or what you'd be working on. I'm also going to send a building tour as well so you can see what our building here in Tulsa looks like. Um, and then if you want to, once you've got, gone to school or if you have that step out of the way, we'd love for you to get connected to our recruiting team. If you Google Melton Truck Lines, it's the first number that's going to come up. You can call our driver recruiting team and they can talk you through it. Or if you're interested in a mechanic internship, I would love for you to reach out to me. We can provide my email following this as well. And then Jeff, what about if somebody's interested in using their GI Bill benefits? At what point would they get connected with the VA to start using that in an apprenticeship? Or what what does the first step look like for them to get connected to using that for one of our apprenticeships? That's a great question. Well, the first thing to do is just go ahead and get on the Melton website or like Delaney said, call the number, get with a recruiter, um, see if Melton itself is a good fit for you. And at that time, once we're engaged with the, with the candidate or the applicant and they are a veteran, um, their recruiter or their representative will usually send me an email saying, would you call this veteran so you can discuss our military benefits or our apprenticeship program? And at that point, I'll give them a personal call one on one and we will talk together if this is a good fit for them and if they're eligible. And that's how we typically do things. Also on our website, there is also a, a military section in our in our driver portal part of it where you can also take a look at all our benefits and resources too before you actually make the, the phone call if you'd like to. So we have that as available as well. Okay, thank you everybody so much for your time talking about your organization and the opportunities here. I would like to add that Workforce Tulsa offers a host of funding opportunities far beyond just diesel mechanic and over the road truck driver. So if after listening to these job opportunities, you don't think it's the right fit, please still reach out and connect with Workforce Tulsa and they can help you move to the next step in your career or to a new career that's right for you. And in addition, Tulsa Tech has a lot of programs as well. Um, so please don't hesitate to connect with them and see what other schooling could be available to get you started there. And at Melton Truck Lines, we are actually headquartered here in Tulsa. So if you are local to here, we have a lot more opportunities beyond diesel mechanic and over the road driver as well. We wanted to highlight those opportunities today because they are the two that we have designed apprenticeships for. But if you're interested in other opportunities, please go to our website, Office Careers, and we have all of our opportunities posted there. Thank you all for attending our webinar today. I don't see any other questions in the chat, uh, so if you have any other questions to follow up, please don't hesitate to reach out to my email. All my information's on our website. Thank you, everybody.